If you're using it for personal growth, it just it will give you something amazing that you can practically use the moment you step out of the conference. There's a set of tools, a set of skills, a set of exercises that help us improve how we are connected to the world and how we can rapidly understand what's going on and what can be done about it. Beautiful. <laughs> That's a little delicious dance. Try it, everybody. What are we going to do? Delicious. My name is Mary Tuskevich. Uh, what brought me here is two years ago, I launched an idea at the 2012 um, AIN conference in San Francisco called Heroic Improvisation. We use theater improv techniques to get uh, people ready for disaster preparedness. And since that time, I've, with the support of the network, um, I've been able to take this uh, workshop to Hurricane Sandy, Super Typhoon Haiyan, and the child migrants um, in uh, San Antonio, Texas. And time to report back to the network. So I'm here to tell the story of how they've enabled me to um, put this work in the world. So today, um, November 8th, 2014, is the year anniversary of Super Typhoon Haiyan. It's the strongest um, typhoon ever on, recorded on the planet. Um, it was an unimaginable situation to the Filipinos who were there. 200 mile an hour winds for 60 minutes and American tornadoes, 200 mile an hour winds for five minutes. So you can imagine the sound and the devastation. And then right after the, the winds passed, um, the equivalent of a tsunami or a tidal wave, a two story foot of water, crashed so everybody who was low to the ground needed now to get high and um, we had the privilege of bringing this workshop a hundred days after the super typhoon to disaster survivors and um, I have a five-step heroic improvisation cycle to prepare people to get ready for disaster so um, the five steps are alert ready connect focus and move so the Filipino survivors use these improvisation skills to um, get through the storm. They heightened their awareness and alert. They looked for resources and went over communication barriers in step two ready. They quickly found a team in step three connect. They went, um, they all focused their attention on the problem, step four focus, and they moved into solution. Each of our survivors were said, uh, Oh, step one, alert. Know that you're in a, a bad situation. Oh, let me tell you how I did that during the super typhoon. Oh, step two, ready, looking for resources and communication. Oh, that's right, it was too loud to actually speak, so we used hand signals. You know, so for each of the steps, they gave us examples of how they used improvisation techniques to save themselves and others. And what I mostly learned from the super typhoon Haiyan um, survivors is if you have the desire to help and the ability to connect with others, you can innovate in a moment in a situation you've never seen before and with people you've never met before. And we collected 75 sto survivor stories that follow this heroic improvisation cycle. So at the beginning of our workshop with the disaster survivors, we asked you, how ready are you uh, for the next event on a scale from one to 10, 10 high? And our disaster survivor, one was very frank, and I was also grateful. Filipinos played with a lot of commitment and a lot of heart. And they said, um, I'm rating myself a three, I'm ready to die. I don't want to do this again. Um, 8,000 people died. Um, things were destroyed. You got to see some of the images here. So I was grateful for her honesty. Um, and also she played 100% in our three-hour workshop. And at the end of the workshop, she said, 
Um, I'm reading myself in eight. You've given me a weapon. I'm ready for the next one. Bring it on. <laughs>